I'm Martin Green and I'm a professor at the University of New South Wales in Sydney and I've spent many years um, researching and developing solar photovoltaics. Perk's been our most successful invention so far. We hold the world record for a solar module which is 40.6% efficient. The efficiency of the silicon cells has been increasing very steadily. Xi Min, she set up JA Solar. Which I had a very positive experience with the Chinese students and uh, many have gone on to play an important role in, in the photovoltaic industry. And between 2005 and 2010, there were 10 um, Chinese-based companies in total that listed on the US exchange. So they really formed the backbone of the industry. And six of those seven had either founders or the chief technical officers within those companies that were trained in our labs. So we have a very active role in uh, building up the manufacturing industry in China. I've traveled a lot around China. I had my first visitor from China in, uh, I think about 1981. He invited me back to Hua Zhuang University of Science and Technology. So I went back there in 1984 and gave a three week uh, lecture course on solar cells. China in uh, 1984, when I was first there, was very different from the China today. People were still wearing uh, mayo suits, either blue or green. Wuhan is a very progressive city now, but back then it was like a very provincial city, so uh, I've been very fortunate to, uh, to sort of witness it. Australia's had long involvement with China. Cooperation in photovoltaics is quite strong. We have links with uh, several universities and um, hundreds of students from different Chinese universities have been trained here and we've helped um, accelerate the uptake of technology in China. The Chinese industry has been very keen to keep improving the quality of the product. Perk Solar Cell, which this year will account for you know, uh, maybe 90% of the total worldwide production, which is most mainly happening in China, I might add. Since about 2016, the cost of solar has come down very dramatically. The Chinese manufacturers, I think, have played a big role. And also, there's been an ongoing development in the performance of the cells. The Chinese companies were the, the vehicle by which that technology got onto the market. 